Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wood Gasifiers Builders Workshop. So today we're going to talk about another sub-assembly for the V3 wood gasifier. Today we're going to talk about the grate assembly. The grate assembly is on the bottom of the reactor tank. So this is the reactor tank. Down here is the grate assembly. It's mounted from the bottom. And the purpose of the grate assembly is it contains the grate that, that uh, allows the uh, biochar to go through and it also provides uh, agitation to keep the ash from clogging up the system. So we're going to go through that uh, sub-assembly here. Uh, so the first is the actual grate that holds up the uh, grate shaft. And in the V3, we're actually using a, a pipe that's got a, uh, a 3 16 inch wall and it's hollow in the center so that we can uh, run a thermocouple down through it. So it's still a 3 quarter inch uh, outside diameter. So we have the shaft. You'll have to drill uh, several holes and tap. Basically at the top, you're going to have to drill and tap a hole, 5 16 hole, to hold the uh, grate shaft. And then on the bottom, you're going to have to drill two holes, uh, 5 16 uh, tap, to hold the uh, grate pivot. Okay, so then to hold the shaft, we have a bottom plate, and then we have a 3 8 inch, excuse me, a 3 inch length of 5 inch pipe. And then the actual bottom plate on the reactor, this, this gets bolted in with 5 16 bolts. And then the grate shaft is going to go through there. It's going to be held in place where there's two 3 quarter inch bronze bushings, one at the top, one will go at the bottom. And we have two three-quarter inch collars that you can lock. So you lock one at the top, lock the one at the bottom, and you can set the height that you want for the grate. The actual grate itself is a quarter inch stainless steel plate, laser cut. And then we have a one inch piece of flat bar that's going to act as an ash grate lip that's going to be welded on the outside, that's going to uh, hold the uh, ash and biochar. And then we have a shaft holder that's going to be welded on the bottom of this plate. It's basically going to secure the shaft. Excuse me, secure the grate. So that's going to be welded on like so. Okay, then once all that is in place, then we will install, on the bottom of that, we will install a couple parts. This is a CNC part called the Great Pivot. It's going to be mounted on there. It's going to be held in place with two 5 16 bolts. That's going to be secured to the Great Motor, which is going to provide a back and forth motion to keep the Great moving. It's going to be connected to an electronic relay, a 12 volt. Uh, it's going to provide about five seconds of motion every three minutes. Okay, so these are the parts. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward assembly. Um, the actual completed assembly that's welded up is one here. So you can see here, we've got the grate. We've got the lip, outside lip welded on. We've got a, oh excuse me, we have a uh, half inch coupler that's going to be welded in the center of the grate and a hole drilled down through the grate. That's going to secure the thermocouple, which I'll show you here in a sec. And the thermocouple wire is going to run down through the grate, out through the bottom. So we've got the uh, lip tack welded on there. We've got the half inch uh, coupler welded on there. You can see here we've got the holder welded on. We've got the five, eight, uh, excuse me, five sixteenths inch uh, bolt that's going to be holding that on. We've got the three-quarter inch collar, the three-quarter inch bronze bushing on the top and the bottom. And then we've got this uh, three-inch piece here. Now, in this case, I'm using a piece of three-inch uh, rectangular tube. It serves the same purpose as this three-inch piece of pipe. All it's, 
its sole purpose is to, to secure the grate, provide, basically provide a holder for the grate shaft. Um, so it's welded to the bottom of the plate. And then on the bottom of the shaft, we've got this grate pivot with two holes that are tapped for 5 sixteenths. And basically that's going to be our mechanism. As the grate motor turns, it's going to provide that back and forth motion to the grate. Okay. The thermocouple, basically we have the, the wire that's going to be fed down through there and it's going to be screwed on with a fitting that goes from a half inch to a one quarter inch that's going to screw down in there and that's going to cause the thermocouple to sit up about three inches which will go up into the reduction tube which will sit right on top of this the reduction tube about three inches so it'll be about half ways up into the reduction tube so it's a uh, uh, pretty straightforward it gives us uh, the means of measuring the temperature in the uh, in the reduction tube um, and then here we've got a welded assembly that's basically painted. Uh, the stainless steel components you don't really have to paint. I just, out of habit, I paint up everything. But uh, uh, so here's a, uh, a completed assembly that's painted. Um, a couple things. Um, one, when you when you put the assembly together, we use this copper coat, uh, high temperature anti seize lubricant. Um, we use it in a lot of different places on the build. We use it on all the threads of all, on all the pipe fittings. Um, but here we would use it in the, uh, the great pivot. We have a 3 8 inch pin that goes inside there. We would put some of that lube inside here because as that motion, this pin moves in and out. We would also use this uh, lubricant on the shaft or inside the bronze bushings to reduce any friction and stop that uh, grate from seizing up in high temperatures if the metal expands. So that'll keep everything uh, lubed up and moving. Um, but it's a pretty straightforward uh, assembly. And we've got several um, uh, assembly drawings for this. Let me zoom in a little bit here. So here, all right, sorry about that. You see here it shows the overall great assembly. Here it shows the assembly with the thermocouple fitting. Here's a side view of that. So these assembly drawings, um, they all come with the kit, all the parts, pre everything's pre-cut. Um, fittings, lubricant, everything's included in your parts kit. Um, but uh, very straightforward assembly. And um, let's go ahead and move on to the next.